There once was a crazy ghost over Porthkeepsie Way that got folks so plum scared that nobody would stay more than one night in its house. It was a nice old place, always, until the ghost began making its presence known. It got so no one would enter the house, not even kids on a dare, and you know what they are like. Now when my friend Joe heard a fancy old house in Porthkeepsie was selling dirt cheap, he decided to go have a look. He asked me about it and I told him about the spook, but Joe just laughed. I don't believe in ghosts he said and went to visit the agent selling the house. Well, the agent gave Joe a key, but refused to look at the old house with him, which should have told Joe something. But Joe's a stubborn man who won't listen to reason. He even waited until after dark to visit the house for the first time just to prove his point. Joe got to the house around 9 p.m. and he entered the front hallway. It was a large entrance and well-proportioned, but neglected looking, with creepy cobwebs and dust everywhere. As Joe paused near the door to get his bearings, he heard a thump from the top of the staircase facing him. A glowing leg appeared out of nowhere and rolled down the steps, landing right next to Joe's feet. Joe gasped out loud and stood frozen to the spot. An arm appeared and rolled down to meet the leg. Next came a foot, then another arm, then a hand. Glowing pieces of body kept popping into existence and plummeting down the steps towards Joe. Joe held his ground a lot longer than anyone else ever had, but when a screaming head appeared at the top of the steps and started rolling towards him, Joe had had enough. With a shriek that could wake the dead, those that weren't already up and haunting the house that is, Joe ran for his life, out of the house, out of the street, and right out of town, leaving his car behind him. He called me the next day and asked me to drive his car down to the hotel where he had spent the night. Joe was headed back to Manhattan and refused to come within 50 miles of Porthkeepsie ever again. The agent gave up trying to sell the house after that, and the house fell into ruin and was eventually torn down.